jagged outline of the Casino Abbey framed against a leaden sky. The battle for Monastery Hill is over, and amid the ruins which crown it, move allied soldiers clambering over the great heaps of masonry. The whole place exudes an atmosphere of death and destruction. Machine gun pits vacated by the Germans are taken over. Snipers' vantage points and observation posts from which the Germans peered down on our lines. The abbey which the Germans converted into a fortress. It is hard to imagine how the place must have looked. This seems to have been the cloisters. There is still faint evidence of this in its archways, but much evidence to show how the Germans used it as a mortar position. A German replica of the American bazooka, another weapon fired from the commanding heights of Casino Abbey. This great edifice was big and thick and long and sacred and full of precious things. Here are Germans who fought their last fight around Casino. In this batch are not quite as many as there were Allied airmen in the shooting at Stalag Luft III. These German captives are entering their prison camps in the sure knowledge that they will receive food and treatment in accordance with international law. Bear these facts in mind as we bring you evidence of Hun brutality inflicted on the civilian population of their erstwhile ally, Italy. These are the sounds and scenes at a refugee collection center located in the square of a small Italian town. People plundered by the Germans and left to starve. People broken in mind and body. Individual cases are brought to our notice, such as this one. Allora, trovando un bisogno di pane, appena arrivato a Itra, andavo nella montagna per ben sette mesi. Privo di pane, privo di ogni cibo. Che è pane tedesco? Pane tedesco. E lei dove comprare? Questo è 300 lire. Just tell me what he said so far. He said he's been up in Milano and he's escaped from the Jerry's. And he gets somewhere, he gets that loaf of bread, which is the Jerry bread. And he paid 300 lire for it. It weighs just about two and a half pounds, just one loaf. Sitting over here is a family suffering the torments of starvation. For three weeks they have been feeding on grass and roots. The little boy they are bringing in was dying of starvation. That's his grandmother next to him. Carry the memory of these faces with you. A handful of people out of Europe's millions who owe their plight to Nazi Germany and the Germany of our yesterdays before the name Nazi was coined. The Germany which by any other name would be as foul. The Germany with the black record which has stained the centuries of man. Yeah.